I call myself a small child <laughs> in this business because I'm only 24. And a lot of people in this you know, company and industry in general are moms and housewives or women that work full-time job but want to come home to their kids. I don't have that, right? I don't have kids yet. We are getting married soon, but we're just engaged right now. So I'm just really blessed that I found Lavelle as early as I did. I'm blessed that I don't have to work to come home to my kids. I'll already be home with them. I won't miss those first moments. I won't have to put them in daycare. And that's what's so unique about my story is that I found it early. And that's why I say you're never too young. You don't have to be established and a housewife and have kids and think that you need this huge why. You are your why. Your struggle is your why. And you're allowed to fight for your dreams just as much as the next person. I don't care how young I am or if, you know, I haven't reached that point in my life yet. I'm excited for what my life will be like because I found this so early. I grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I moved to New York when I was about 12 years old and went all throughout middle school, high school there, and actually went to college in New York City. Um, I went to a fashion school, so that's what I thought I was going to do. I went for retail management and merchandising, and it was very hard to get into that school. And it was great for a while, but I realized it was not for me, and I ended up dropping out, which my mom is not happy about. And that was kind of the beginning of when I realized that the typical workforce wasn't for me. But I stayed in New York for a while. I ended up moving to Kansas, which is where I met Travis. And then we moved from Kansas to Oklahoma because his family's from here. So I have been all over the map. I had somebody message me on Instagram and bring it to my attention. I had never seen it on social media. I had never seen it anywhere. The area I was living in, I don't think anybody had known of it yet. And I signed up before trying the products, <laughs> but the day that I got the products in the mail, I was an absolute day one thriver, and I felt something I had never felt in my life. Um, I was a five cup a day coffee drinker to where I would finish one and pour another cup, and it was a constant cycle all day long, but I was always fatigued, always exhausted. And I remember the first day I took the products, I wasn't like, hey, I'm going to quit my coffee habit. I just was like, all right, I'll see how this feels, if it's the real deal. Like, there's no way these people feel this good on these products. And I remember looking at the clock at noon, and I was like, wow, I haven't made a cup of coffee. And it wasn't intentional. It wasn't, oh, I'm not going to have it. I'm going to quit cold turkey. But that's what ended up happening. Um, within 30 minutes of taking my products, I felt absolutely amazing, clean energy I'd never experienced. And from that day, I have not touched coffee since. It absolutely changed my energy, my mood, my mental clarity. It was an absolute game changer for me. <sighs> my life has done a complete 180. Before I joined, Travis was in the oil field. It was about the only job in the state of Oklahoma that could provide for us. And that meant him being out of town. So I had moved to a new city where I knew absolutely nobody but a couple of his family members. We shared one vehicle and he would go out of town for two weeks at a time. So that meant that I sat at home for 14 days straight until he came home for six and then he left again. And it was enough to pay our bills. It was a good income in that sense, but I had so much debt and I felt such guilt knowing he was providing everything. It put such a burden on me, not that he made me feel that way, but I wanted to help. And I was in over $30,000 in credit card debt. I was in a bad place where I couldn't even go through the drive through at the dollar menu without digging for change in my cup holder. So we went 200K in five months, and that was not something I ever thought would be possible. Like I said, I was just in such a bad place or it was more about getting my head above water. And, you know, I knew I love the product. I knew that people made amazing money in this industry, but I didn't know that I could do it. I didn't expect that we would have success. But when you have your hands on gold and you can share something people feel and they get their own testimony with it and you have passion behind what you're doing, 
things happen really, really fast. And that was all it was, was me, you know, standing up on social media and saying what I had found and that I thought it was unique from anything else. And quickly, it's people fell into place of understanding they needed that change too and they needed the products and it was a complete whirlwind. Um, I never thought we would have the success that we have or be able to impact the people that we do, but it has truly changed every facet of our life. I'll tell you that when I wrote all that stuff on there, I never thought that any of that would come true. Um, those were like my biggest, wildest dreams I could ever think of. And I was told to write them down and look at them every single day. And I think within almost five months, we crossed everything off of that dream board. So I keep that in my office right there just to always remind me where I started and what those big goals were for me then. So I can know that when I bring people on, that's what I do for them now is I help them to get the things that I wanted in the beginning. The most beautiful thing about this business is that if you want to be up here with one of those signs, you have to help change other people's lives. So when it comes to empowering a new promoter, care about them, understand their story, understand why they're doing this, right? It's not just an enrollment. It's not just volume or your next rank. They are a person, right, that is trusting in you, that needs you to guide them. So hear them out, understand their story, show them how this will fit into the nooks and crannies of their day, how over time all these efforts will compound and they can be up here too. Working from home and being such an introvert like I am, I need my space zen. So I have my diffusers, I have my plants. <laughs> I make it very homey in here just so that we can always feel relaxed and comfortable even while working. This is the kitchen. Not a lot of cooking goes on. <laughs> he cooks more than I do, but I love this and I love the pantry. I wake up every morning, I'm right here at this counter um, doing my three steps without fail. And I have all my other goodies. I pack my samples here, absolutely everything. This was my dream pantry of all time. So I love it. We have a outdoor patio right up here that overlooks the backyard. So the dog mom that I am, I love to stand out here in the morning and just watch them over the balcony and it's really, really, really pretty out here. This was my favorite feature so I can peer down on them while they're bringing my shoes outside and doing stuff they're not supposed to. Am I talking about you? <laughs> the downstairs is Travis's favorite part. Um, we always joke now that he lives his best life and he deserves it because he cared for me and provided for me for so long um, that my dream is to make sure that he has everything he could ever dream of in a home and in a life. So right down here is his favorite part. So he has his pool table and his movie room and then all of his football stuff right up there and he loves to be down here. I have always promised myself that in this industry, um, I will never lose myself. I will never forget who I am and I will never go on social media just to sell somebody. I post stuff about everything in my life from my dogs to our engagement to things I've been through in my past and of course my Thrive experience, the products, everything, um, what the business has done for me, and I like to think that it can give people hope so people that are watching can understand that I'm still just a normal person. Um, I do normal things every single day, but I have my hands on hold, and they can't all know it to me. Um, I'm screen recording it on my Mac right now because, like, it's not on my I think that with the day and age we're in and millennials and just how the world is turning, you have to give something a chance if you want something different for your life. I knew I didn't want to be in debt. I knew I didn't want to clock into somebody else. And I think product-wise and business-wise, 
there are skeptics, but it's my responsibility to show up every single day and share that it's okay if you are one. I was one too, and you can change that. There is possibility in this industry that will blow your mind and help you to have a life you never thought you could. So I handle it with grace. And I think that if it's meant for them, they will always come around. I think you can just have proof in your journey and share your heart and what you have your hands on and they become believers. I am looking forward to starting a family. Um, I, I say this all the time to my team. I am so excited in where we're gonna be from five years from now, right? I think about that all the time because so many amazing things have happened and we've accomplished so much and impacted so many people, but I'm like, imagine in five years, like imagine the reach we will have, the amount of people we've touched, the amount of people that these products have changed their life. It is just the beginning for the company, for my team, for every brand promoter in Lavelle. It's the beginning. And I think that it's gonna blow our minds what is gonna happen over the next couple of years.